The Sweet Smell of Christmas. The Sweet Smell of Christmas by Patricia Scary, illustrated by J.P. Miller. One morning, Little Bear sat up in bed and sniffed with his nose. Something wonderful is going to happen, he said. My nose tells me so. Little Bear ran downstairs to the kitchen. Mommy, what do I smell? He asked. Christmas is coming. I think that's what you smell, said Mother Bear. When will Christmas be here, Mommy? Christmas will be here tomorrow. I'm baking this apple pie for Christmas. Little Bear sniffed at the pie. It smelled delicious. Yes, I can smell Christmas. It's coming soon, he said. Here's Bear's apple pie. Can you smell Christmas too? After breakfast, Father Bear pulled Little Bear on his sled. Are we going to find Christmas, Daddy? asked Bear. No, we're going to find a nice little pine tree to take home for our Christmas tree, said Father. They searched in the woods until they found a bushy little pine tree. Father chopped it down with his axe and put it on his sled. Little Bear helped pull the tree home over the snow. It was a nice, fresh tree, and it smelled so piney. Little Bear poked his nose into the branches and sniffed a deep sniff. <sighs> now I can smell Christmas, he said. It's not far away. You can smell the pine tree, too. Doesn't it smell nice? Then the bear family trimmed their tree. It was fun. They hung lovely glass balls and silvery tinsel on the branches. On the very top, father put a beautiful star. Something is missing, said mother. What can it be? She hurried to the kitchen. When she came back, she was carrying a big jar. Candy canes, she said. We forgot to put candy canes on our tree. Bear held a candy cane in his paw and sniffed. Mmm, <sighs> I can smell Christmas. It's coming very soon, he said. Here is a candy cane for you to sniff. Can you smell Christmas coming? Little Bear hung the candy canes on the branches. At last, the tree was finished. And oh my, it was so beautiful. Little Bear jumped up and down and clapped his paws. Mother Bear was working in the kitchen. What are you doing, Mommy? asked Bear. Gingerbread boys, you may help me. Bear liked doing that. He cut out the gingerbread boys with a little tin cutter. Then he made their funny faces. And when he smelled them cooking, Bear said, Mmm, I can smell Christmas. It's almost here. This is your gingerbread boy. Does it smell like Christmas too? <sighs> While Bear was hanging a gingerbread boy on the tree, he heard singing at the window. There, in the snow, were some carolers. How lovely it was to hear Christmas music in the frosty night. Mother Bear invited the carolers indoors for some steaming hot chocolate. Bear had some too. He put his nose down close to his cup. The hot chocolate smelled sweet and chocolatey. Oh, now I can smell Christmas, Bear said. It's going to happen right away. Now you smell the hot chocolate. Mmm, smells so good. Bear was right. It was almost Christmas. 
the bear family hung their stockings by the fireplace. Then Little Bear hurried to bed. He listened for Santa's reindeer landing on the roof. He listened and listened. Then he fell asleep. Ho, 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 laughed Merry Santa Claus as he slid down the chimney. My, what a pretty tree, he said, nibbling a gingerbread boy. And what a good little bear lives here. I will leave him lots of toys. He dug into his toy sack and put everything a bear could dream of under the tree. At last, it was morning. Little Bear woke up. He sniffed. <laughs> he said, It's Christmas Day at last! Then he ran downstairs to find his stocking. There was a big, juicy orange on top. And down inside, Bear found a little red train, a storybook, a tiny ball, and candies and puzzles. Bear sniffed at his orange. <sighs> now I know it's Christmas! he said, and he ate the orange up. Here is a Christmas orange for you. Can you smell Christmas now? <sighs> Mother and Father Bear hurried downstairs to open their presents too. There was a nice tie for Father and warm mittens. Mother found a necklace and lots of pretty things. And under the tree for Little Bear, were a big red scooter, a drum, a little toy horse, a bugle, and a big striped ball. Best of all, there was a soft furry teddy bear, a Christmas friend for Bear. All the bears agreed it was the happiest Christmas ever. <laughs>